Hello and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to import Facebook and Instagram ads data to Airtable via Data Fetcher. So Facebook ads and Instagram ads are a combined service that can be used across both platforms and can be imported into Airtable in the same way. So today we're going to use the Data Fetcher Airtable app to automatically pull in Facebook and Instagram ads metrics such as impressions, clicks, and CPC. So first we begin on our Airtable base where we go over to the right hand side, the apps, click on apps, click on add an app, the big blue button, and then search for data fetcher when this loads up. Nice and simple, that should appear. You can then go ahead, click on the add button there, and again, the blue button that says add app. Fantastic, so the following screen will load up and this is where you can either create a free data fetcher account or you can simply continue with Google. Once you've signed in or created your account, you'll be brought to the following page where you can import your data and create your first request. So simply click on the big blue button again. And here we'd love to give this request a title that's nice and clear. So if you title this Fetch Facebook and Instagram Ads Data, and then for the application, we're going to search for Facebook ads. Nice and simple, that'll pop up, click on that, and now you'll be prompted to create a new Facebook ads connection under the authorization. So if you just select this, this will load and your information will appear for you to log in. So you will need to give Data Fetcher your permission. So once you've done that, selecting yes and clicking on the button, then it'll load and link Data Fetcher to your Facebook. Really simple. Once you've done that, you can select OK. And then once you have that connection to your Facebook ads, we'll click Save and Continue in the bottom right hand corner. Then you have to choose your settings. So for the account, I'm going to go ahead and select my own account. Obviously, this will be yours. For the date range, I'd like to go for the last 30 days so that we can see what's been happening in the last month. And for the fields, I'm going to select impressions, clicks, and CPC. But again, you can actually type and search for what you're looking for and then select that as well. I'd also like to include CTR, so we'll go ahead and click on that. And that is as simple as it is. So now we can choose to split our data into different records based on this. So for example, I'd love to split it by the date so that it's nice and clear. I'd also like to go for the campaign name, but we do also have the options of add set name. This might be really useful to you and also add name as well. So if you're wanting to categorize it in these different ways, have a look at the different options that you have or search for what you're looking for. You also have the option of filters. So you can actually click add filter, then select the conditions you want to filter by. For example, you could have it as only import days when ads had more than a thousand impressions. So we select impressions and then greater than or equal to. 1000 and it's as simple as that. That's up to you though. So today we are going to leave that blank, but just so you know that is an option. Then we'll check that the output table and view is left as table one and grid view, but this should happen automatically. So you can just go ahead and click save and run in the bottom right hand corner. Amazing. So now that we've done that, we'll arrive onto the following page where we have all of our available fields to us that we can then import into Airtable. And so as you can see, we have got all of the information here, and these are actually all of the fields that I'd like to include except for date stop. So that one I won't want to bring forward, but it's already automatically not selected. If you did want to turn this on, you can just flick the toggle from green to gray, but we're going to leave that as it is with date stop not selected. So this is how it should look. And then we're simply going to select save and run in the bottom right hand corner. Amazing. So now our fields are being created and that information is being imported into your Airtable base. Then simply select show output table and this will load up to the following screen where you can scroll over and have a look at all of the data that has been imported as you can see and it really is as simple as that. But we can go one step further today and we can make this happen automatically 
without having to rerun those requests ourselves. So over to the right hand side, you'll see the Data Fetcher app and it'll prompt you to make it full screen. So you can either click here or scroll over the full screen button and select this to open up all of the settings that you've already chosen for this particular request. So if we scroll down, we'll find the schedule option. Now you will only have the schedule option if you have a paid data fetcher account. So if you haven't yet done that, I really recommend that you do and then come back to this step when you're ready. So once you've done that, you should now see the schedule option as so. However, we still have to add an API key. So simply select the add API key button and you'll be prompted to follow the link to your Airtable account. Click on that button and then you'll arrive on your account overview where if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see the generate API key button. Click on this and then copy this key back over to your Airtable account. Once you've pasted your key in the input box, you can select save and you'll see that this automatically has the schedule this request option now turned on. And as you can see, you do have different options for how often you'd like this request to repeat. So I have mine set for every 15 minutes, Monday all the way through to Sunday between nine and six. So I know that all of my records are being updated automatically. Then all you have to do is simply select save and close that window over. So hopefully today you've learned how to import Facebook and Instagram ads data to Airtable using Data Fetcher and how to keep those records updating automatically into your Airtable base as well. But if you do have any questions, you can always reach out to us here at Data Fetcher or you can check out our full length blog that we have on this exact topic on our website as well. Thank you so much for taking the time and energy to learn today. I hope you have a really great one.